Hello sailors and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to our new subscribers and thank you for all the thumbs up. So in today's episode, we're gonna continue working on our 1999 Tuhatsu 3.5 outboard motor. Now in the last episode, we fixed the gear lever. So there's a new one in there and we cleaned all that out. And we also cleaned out the old gasket and put a brand new one in, cleaned all the surfaces in there and all the water channels, so that's done. And we also did the impeller down the bottom there. That was an absolute pig to do, but it's done now. So I think the next thing that we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna get on, clean the carburetor and check that out. Check the spark plug out because it definitely looks like it's seen better days and give it just a general little clean up and then give it its first start. I'm going to actually attempt it in this episode to get it started and uh, fingers crossed it's going to be a success. So the first thing on my list of things to do with this uh, outboard today is uh, to get this spark plug out and have a look. It's, it's all rusted up so it's obviously been in there a long while. Um, Certainly going to replace it, like a lot of bits, they're cheap as chips, it's just worth doing it. But anyway, I'm going to pop this out and have a look at the condition. Might also give me a bit of an idea of uh, you know, how the engine is performing. So let's uh, pop this off and uh, have a look. Okay, one spark plug. Uh, it didn't put up much of a fight at all. So the outside is quite rusted, but that's to be expected considering that um, a lot of salt water around on an outboard. The inside, not too bad at all. On the tip there, a bit orange, uh, but at least not white, so it's not overheating, and it's not caked in oil and black or carbon. So in general, it's okay. So what I'm going to do is going to clean this up, pop it back in, just for the uh, purposes of getting this outboard running for today. And then at a later date, I'll obviously just put a brand new spark plug in. Okay, well that's the spark plug all cleaned and put back in. Not a very big job at all, but uh, certainly a routine one worth doing. And as I say, at a later date, I'm going to replace the spark plug anyway. So for now, I'm now going to move on to the carburetor, which is obviously the air-fuel mixture, the brains of the outboard, as it were. Now, I've never actually taken one apart, uh, but I do understand that the root of a lot of issues on outboards and lawn mowers and anything else that has a carburetor is quite often a dirty carburetor. Now, I don't know the condition of this carburetor, obviously, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it and give it a good clean, a little bit of an inspection and all that. Um, it's just routine anyway, so I might as well go ahead and do it as we're working our way through this outboard. So that's what I'm going to do now. Pop off the carburetor. So that's the carburetor removed. Fairly easy to be honest. Just had to loosen off this bracket here, take a fuel pipe off, detach a few wires. Don't forget if you're doing it, don't lose things like the washers and that. That goes in, in there, but stayed actually on the outboard. So be careful that you don't lose those. And the same with the uh, little clips as well. So just pop them to one side safely. So one thing I have noticed already on here is when I slide the throttle up and down, obviously it levers and opens and closes the valve. And one thing I've noticed is 
if you take a look at this valve here, when I slide that all the way down, it doesn't go all the way. It just stays there. Now if I give that a little tap, it drops in. And that's mainly when you go down to start and starting it obviously and then you want to idle it it should drop off and as that is now if I was on start and then I want to idle it's not going to close off the air or the fuel it's just going to carry on running at uh, that pace so I want to give it a clean and make sure that this returns as it should Otherwise, it makes no sense to have the uh, lever going all the way down. So let's start pulling this apart and uh, have a look and see what state it is inside. So the float is there, that's all present, that's not seized up or gammed up or anything. So I'll give that a clean out in the bowl, but that's quite good. And looking at the fork, arm, lever, float thing, I don't know what it's called, please do tell me if you do know. Um, that's all moving freely, so it doesn't seem to be a problem with that. Uh, it uh, means the fuel should get through quite well. The gasket is a little bit corroded, but I'm not going to worry much about that at the moment. It seems to be sealing it all right. It's not leaking fuel. So I'm going to pop this off now and uh, have a look in there and uh, basically just I'll start giving it a clean. Okay, so I've removed the needle assembly. And uh, if you remember, I said that uh, when you put it onto choke, it's all right. It seems that when you put it down to idle, uh, the plunger needle doesn't seem to change. And I don't know if it's meant to do this or not, but it does feel, it does seem to be a bit of friction there, jamming. So I'll look a little bit deeper into that. It doesn't seem like it's meant to do that, but I'll give it a good clean and uh, hopefully see if that fixes it. I've given this a good clean, uh, but to be honest, uh, I've never done one before and I don't really know what I'm doing, so I don't want to break it in any way. So what I'm going to do is put it back together and uh, put it back on the outboard. Carburetor's all clean, spark plugs cleaned, impellers done. Well, just about everything I wanted to do has been done. I've even given the casing and everything a, a quick clean over just to get a grease and that off of there. So I think now is the magic moment. I think what I need to do, they're going to get the outboard outdoors, put it in a big bucket of water, and, uh, well, let's give this a whirl and see if it goes. <laughs> Let's uh, give this a go and uh, see what happens. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. 
Well, it's doing something. Well, it's trying to get started, isn't it? But uh, it's obviously not happy. Uh, but it does feel like we are getting somewhere. Um, must be something else there. I'm going to try the fuel. Fuel that came with the uh, outboard is still in there. And no idea how old it is. Um, so let's get that out, have a quick look at that, and then uh, hopefully get some nice fuel in there, some fresh fuel, and uh, see if that makes it any better. I don't know what fuel was in there, but... Um, <laughs> That's what it came out like. That's, uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem very good. Anyway, let's get some fresh stuff in there and see if we have more luck. Let's try again. Well, it's not perfect, but it, it, it is a runner. It definitely is a runner, as you saw then. It, uh, it, uh, it ticks over. It is struggling, but it is ticking over. I changed the fuel. That made a big, big difference. And I think if I put a new spark plug in, that's going to help a lot. So I think really all we can do with it is uh, give it a tune up. And um, I think we've got a good outboard here. The other great thing, of course, is that uh, it is ejecting the water out. So it means we are circulating water through air. Doesn't seem to be any leaks on the, the bodywork or anything. So the impeller does work. So we got that right. And the other thing, of course, is I can get it in gear into neutral. And when I get it in gear, the prop goes round and uh, as obviously does what it's supposed to do. So... I am over the moon about that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, done a lot of work on it, as you saw. Went through as much. There is more I can do on it. But the very fact that I've actually gone through, done all the bits on it, and it is a runner. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I think we'll tune it up, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.